So after a piece is dipped, it's important to clean out the bottom so that just before we put it in the furnace, that all the wax drips out. Uh, so we're just making clean edges on the bottom. So we are going to do a movie of a, a burnout. Kristen has a piece ready to go. Gary's about ready to open the furnace. The furnace is about 1500 degrees. This burns the wax out. And what we have to do is let the flame burn down so that we can set the piece in. You'll notice that uh, Gary is uh, suited up with flame resistant uh, jacket. He's got a shield and everything. So what will then happen is when the piece gets in there, all the wax will burn out and drip into a water-filled bucket uh, underneath the furnace. And so Kristen is going to be scooping the wax out because it drops into the bucket of water and cools. Okay, Kristen's piece has been in the burnout furnace for about a half an hour and all the wax was taken out and we opened the door and just looked for any particular cracks and this looks pretty clean, we don't see any cracks and you'll notice that it is quite hot, red hot, so this looks like a successful burnout. We actually leave the piece in the furnace for about 15 minutes so it cools down gradually and after 15 minutes we'll take it out of the furnace and then it will be ready for casting. So the uh, Kristen's piece is now cooled off in the furnace. Gary is taking it out of the burn-in furnace and you'll notice it's quite white and now we're just putting it in the storage cabinet over here just a holding place waiting for the uh, casting. West Valley College, October 14th, 2008, second pour of the day. Once again, we're working with the same people. Uh, David is the pour master. We have Ken and Gary on the ends of the crucible, and we have Gene being the hooker. Uh, That's the a drop. biggest it's, uh, um, stuff that's lighter than the bronze, sand, all kinds of stuff. That it'll uh, actually just oxide the float to the top. There's very few things that are heavier than the bronze. If they were heavier, say if you had gold in there, gold would go to the bottom. Yeah. yeah. What happens if someone doesn't make it into a sculpture? You know? That stuff? Yeah. Like, like what happens if like not all of it was scraped off and like a chunk of it got into the mold? That would be bad. Okay, we're going to do one small bronze piece, and the bigger piece is supposed to take 60 pounds of bronze, so we'll see what happens today. We're on this particular pour. Now we're going to get ready for Kristen's 60 pounds. This is solid, so it's a lot of metal and a lot of force. Now if there's any moisture in the molds, the uh, bronze will come out like a geyser. This will turn to steam. That's good. Yeah. 
there's any moisture whatsoever in the molds, it would turn to steam and start blowing the bronze up, and it's a very dangerous situation. So it's really better to wear long sleeves. Yes. These ingots are just for reuse again, right? That's true. So really, you've heated quite a bit more metal than you needed here. This is true. It's now, always better to have one ounce too much than one ounce too little. Can you pour? Can you pour? Can you remelt that and then pour it again without adding anything else? All right, now just go ahead and sit on the sand.